Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another video. Uh, this is how to install HasIO on a Raspberry Pi 3. Now obviously this will work on uh, pretty much any Raspberry Pi. Uh, I think Raspberry Pi 3 is probably the best way to go as it's probably going to be the most powerful. Obviously you have to have a Raspberry Pi and secondly of course you'll need an SD card. Um, the bigger the better, you'll need at least probably a 32 gig size uh, micro SD card. But again, obviously the bigger the better. Let's do a quick rundown of what we're going to cover in this video. Obviously for starters, we're going to download the HasIO image uh, for the Raspberry Pi 3. Secondly, we're going to download Etcher. Uh, third, we're going to uh, flash the HasIO image on uh, to the SD card using Etcher. Uh, then after that, of course, we're going to boot up our, our newly uh, flashed SD card on our Raspberry Pi 3. Lastly, you are ready to enjoy the new uh, HasIO install that you have on your Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. All right, so I'll put the link and everything in the description, but you're going to go over here to the Get Starting page on uh, Home Assistant's uh, website, and you'll click on the link that says uh, Download uh, HasIO Image for Raspberry Pi 3. Shouldn't take long to download, depending on your, uh, of course, your download speed at your house. All right, next step is to download Etcher. You'll do that on Etcher's website, that's etcher.io. Um, you can download it for Mac or whatever you're going to run it on. Basically, once you get that downloaded, you're ready to install Etcher. Um, I'm not going to actually cover that part in the video, but yes, you just go through and install it however you're supposed to do it, depending on what system you have. Once you have that installed, let's go ahead and open up Etcher, and we are ready to flash our SD card. So you'll need to uh, hook up your SD card to your computer, either uh, through an SD card slot or if you have an external USB drive or something to uh, plug in the SD card. But once you get that plugged in and you open up Etcher, you are ready to uh, you know, select your image. So we'll go through here and we will select our uh, Raspberry Pi image that we downloaded. Say open. Uh, next, you want to make sure you have your SD card listed there. It should pick it up by default. Once you have that, you just go ahead and start flashing. And we'll fast forward through this because it's going to take a little while to flash it and verify it and do all that kind of stuff. So we'll speed that along here. Once it comes up at the end and says that it's done flashing, uh, you're ready to pull that SD card out and put that back in your Raspberry Pi. And as you can see there, it says flash complete. So we're ready to move on to the next step. Basically, we're gonna put that SD card back in our um, Raspberry Pi and turn that thing on. Basically, once you have it powered up, you should be able to, from another computer, just go to hasio.local port 8123. And you should see something like this. Uh, basically, what it's doing at this point is uh, Raspberry Pi is online and it is downloading the uh, latest version of Home Assistant. So it takes it a little while. It'll take it about 20 minutes, probably a little less. And this page will auto refresh. So uh, you can leave it on that page and whenever it's done downloading and everything's ready, it should automatically start up Home Assistant for you. And of course, here is what it looks like once it's up and going. So as you can see, already uh, it's already pulled in a couple of devices, basically from the auto discovery. It found a Wemo switch and looks like a Fire TV. So uh, basically that is the end of the video. This is a pretty quick and easy install uh, for the Raspberry Pi. I mean, you spend most of the time just waiting for it to, of course, flash that SD card and then also uh, to download the latest version of Home Assistant. 
Uh, as we always do, let's kind of go over everything that we covered in this video one last time. So we downloaded that uh, Has.io image uh, for the Raspberry Pi. And then we went and downloaded Etcher, which is what we were going to use to flash with. Uh, third, we uh, flashed the Has.io image to the uh, Raspberry Pi SD card using Etcher. Once we had that flashed, we were able to boot off the uh, new SD card. Lastly, you are ready to enjoy the new uh, Has.io install that you have on your Raspberry Pi. Again, that is the end of this video. It was a quick uh, and easy video. I had a few people asking how to get Has.io installed on Raspberry Pi, so I wanted to make sure I covered that for you guys. Uh, hopefully we'll uh, get some new videos, uh, new tutorials out there utilizing the new Has.io image. Um, if you like the video, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And of course, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know as well in the uh, comments and I'll see if I can get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks. If you like the video, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And of course, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know as well in the uh, comments and I'll see if I can get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.